morning, Game On Athletes. I hope you all are off to a great start on your day. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Virginia, and today I'm going to be talking to you about field hockey and going over some of the basic skills and things like that. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with field hockey, it is played on a grass or turf field um, with 11 players on the field, very similar to soccer. Um, you have 10 field players and a goalie, um, and the object is to score more goals than the other team. So field hockey sticks, you're thinking, oh, ice hockey sticks, nice long blade on the bottom, use both sides. Not quite. Field hockey is a little bit different. So this is a field hockey stick. And in field hockey, if you look closely, you can see that one side is flat and the other side is curved. In field hockey, you can only use the flat side of your stick, not the curved side. And other special thing about field hockey is there's no such thing as a left-handed stick. Everybody plays right-handed in field hockey. So it's a little bit different um, and takes a little bit of a different mindset to wrap your head around that, especially if you are used to um, street hockey or ice hockey. So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you some of the um, fundamentals. So first and foremost, how we hold our stick. Very similar to lacrosse, your right hand, the hand that you um, was going to be towards the middle of the stick. So when you're holding that part, that hand, you're going to look, if you're putting the stick face down, or so the flat side of your stick is up, you're going to put your hands palm up and hold it there. Your left hand is going to be at the top and you're going to put that palm down. So it's just like lacrosse in that palm down, palm up and how you hold it. Except like lacrosse, you're up here, field hockey, you're going to be obviously having the stick on the ground. So when you stand up and you move to standing, field hockey sticks are kind of short. So you can't just, if I'm just standing straight up, I can't even reach the ground. So, field hockey, all about those legs. So we're nice and low, we're bending our legs, and then, look, there I have my stick on the ground. Because if we just keep our legs straight and flat and bend over like this, do you guys think I could move very well when I, ha I just bend over like that and don't bend my knees? Do you think I could change directions really easily or do anything? But if I'm down nice and low in an athletic stance, I can still move, I can backpedal, I can run, I can change directions when I stay in that nice athletic stance. So, nice strong legs playing field hockey for sure. All right, so we've got our field hockey grip. Generally the stick is on the right side of your body. This is a field hockey ball. It's made of hard plastic. If you don't have a field hockey ball or aren't allowed to use one in the house, any sort of wiffle ball or tennis ball kind of thing works too. So we're going to talk a little bit about dribbling. So like I mentioned earlier, you can only use the flat side of your stick. So to dribble, we're going to keep this ball on this side of our body and all you're going to do is just give it little taps. You want to keep it nice and close to your stick. Because just like in any sport, like soccer, for example, if that ball gets really far away from you, it's really easy for a defender to take it away from you. So when we're dribbling, we keep it nice and close. Keep those knees nice and bent and just small little taps. All right. So you might be asking what happens if the ball comes over to your left side? So, if the ball comes over to your left side, you have to flip your stick over in order to dribble. Like this. So flip, like this. So what that looks like, I'll come a little closer so you can see what my hands are doing. Um, your top hand is the one that does all the work when you're going to your reverse stick. Your bottom hand is there to help keep your stick nice and stable. And that's it. This top hand is doing all the work. So if I'm switching sides, look, all you do is you see me turn my wrist. This is the motion. 
I'm turning my wrist like this. And then this, my bottom hand is just there to help keep my stick nice and stable. So this movement is all in the wrist. All in the wrist. All right, so what that looks like is when I'm doing it on the ground with the ball, all right, ball comes over here. I'm going to flip that stick over this way and then pull it back this way. And then I can keep going. Reverse and bring it back this way. So one good way to practice this is by doing what's called pulls side to side. Just focus on being familiar with that stick, moving back and forth with nice slow athletic position. And you can use anything you want to practice these. What I'm going to use are a couple of my toddler daughter's toys. There's tons of them around here. You can clearly tell a toddler lives here. Um, so I'm gonna use a couple of her mermaids. We have Ariel and Shelly. And I'm going to put one over here and one over here. And what I'm going to do to practice this is I'm just going to do my pulls between the two mermaids. So I'm going to bring it across and then reverse, bring it back. Across and back. Just nice and steady. And again, that top hand is doing all the work flipping the stick reverse and bringing it back. And do you see how I'm shifting my weight with my legs? Whoops, it's okay if you lose the ball, just pull it back out. My weight is shifting like this. I'm not just standing up straight and trying to reach. I'm not gonna be very successful that way. I'm down low, back and forth. And then the more comfortable you get with this, you can set up some challenges for yourself. Like, how many can I do in a minute? Or how many can I do in 30 seconds? Or you can use some cones and almost set up like a little obstacle course. Or you can use things like mermaids do. Um, and make yourself a little zigzag course to practice your dribbling. But key takeaways I want you to remember from today are one we can only use which side the flat side two your top hand is going to be your left hand and that's the hand that does all the turning and all the work and your middle hand or your middle hand your right hand is down in the middle of your stick and that's just there to steady um, steady your stick and help keep you balanced and number three we're in a nice, low, athletic position with our knees bent on our toes so we are ready to go and move any direction possible. So there's a brief intro to field hockey and we will be doing more of this down the road. Hope you all have a great afternoon. Stay strong, stay healthy, and we will see you later. Have a great day.